People are trying to avoid the grocery stores altogether and are turning to grocery delivery companies like Instacart, where you can pay someone to do your shopping for you. Instacart wants to hire another 300,000 shoppers, but some of its current employees are threatening to strike tomorrow. They want more protections from COVID-19. Instacart has increased safety measures in an effort to prevent the strike. The company says it will give hand sanitizers to its full service shoppers and will make it easier for customers to set their own default tipping percentages. Still, the Gig Workers Collective says it wants shoppers to get additional safety items and hazard pay. The coronavirus is causing major mask shortages around the world, especially for those in the medical field. But in a time of isolation, many are coming together to help those in need, including two women in the valley. CBS 47's Angel Leilani shows us how the pair is using 3D printers to help. This 3D printer is hard at work, creating something that's so desperately needed around the world. There's a shortage of supplies right now with the N95 mask. Like, like as right now, like this is like just a typical N95 mask, and some some um, employees and some healthcare workers are only getting one of these a week. Because of that, Priscilla Presto and her wife Rose say they wanted to help. You can't really put a price on what's going on right now, so. We're willing to really do anything and everything that we can. So they're putting their two 3D printers they have at home to work, creating these masks. For the filter, the Prestos are cutting up a small supply of existing N95 masks they have on hand. You can cut this up like four to five times and create little squares out of them, and that's where these masks come into place, where when you cut them up and you place them instead of here, you're able to extend the life of this mask from one time use. But in order to make more, they're asking for anyone with a 3D printer to help. We can't do it alone, you know, like we need each other and this is the time to step up. While the masks are not officially CDC approved, the Prestos say they just want to be ready in case they're needed. Right now they have about 40 masks on hand, each one taking about three hours to make. We're just going full force on it and trying to get ahead and create a stockpile of masks for when it's the question. <laughs> Angelica Leilani, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.